Unfortunately, domestic violence is all too common. The story we bring you tonight takes an unusually violent turn. A local man tried to cut off his ex-girlfriend's head with a sword. It happened at a home on Holman Avenue in Covington, and that's where we find Local 12's Brad Underwood tonight. Brad. Well, Kim, it's certainly not something that we often hear about, uh, especially with this kind of weapon that was used in the attack. It was the topic of conversation here on Holman Avenue in Covington earlier today, but many of the people we spoke with, they hadn't heard about any of this until we told them. Early Saturday morning, it began as a verbal argument, but quickly escalated to something out of a movie. I didn't really see anything. I just heard the scream. A neighbor we spoke with who didn't want her face shown remembers the yelling and screaming and then went outside in fear her daughter may have been in trouble. Uh, the one female was saying she couldn't move her arm, and, and uh, I didn't know what happened. Police say 39-year-old Terry Phillips stopped arguing and pulled out a samurai-type sword. She got serious injury to her arm. Uh, she believed that his intent was to cut her head off. When police arrived on Holman Avenue, Phillips was no longer there. It's the worst kind of crimes. We uh, searched high and low for him, and uh, we received some information that he might be in the uh, Lexington area. Police took Phillips into custody in Lexington without incident. He's facing charges of attempted murder and assault. How many of the people that we spoke with this afternoon, none of them seem to have ever met or, or known Phillips or his ex-girlfriend. They did tell us that this particular house uh, where this uh, argument and assault took place has a very high turnover of renters. Reporting live tonight in Covington, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. Such a bizarre story. Brad, thank you. And as you heard, Phillips was caught in Lexington, and he is spending the night in jail there.